Hi, I'm Lee Partridge and welcome back to Colu TV for another midweek show. On the show tonight, all the action from last night's brilliant win against Bradford, plus the thoughts from Wayne and the goal scorer himself, Tom Eastman. Right, let's get on with it. Let's get straight in to those highlights. A great win for us there and a very important three points, even though it's still very early into the season. Really important to get our first win under our belts. Head to Colu Tickets to vote for your man of the match from last night's game and voting closes tomorrow at lunchtime. Uh, who are you going to vote for? Maybe the goal scorer, maybe Noah. Uh, various different uh, people are in with a shout for that. Uh, let's hear from the thoughts of Wayne Brown immediately after last night's victory about what and how he saw the game. Wayne, were you starting to think you might have to settle for another point there tonight? Yeah, it was just, it got to the stage where it was like, do we stick or do we twist with the subs at the end um, with sort of five or six minutes to go. Um, with the game the way it was, we we were on top at the time, um, and I didn't know whether or not to change it because of that fact. Um, but obviously we stuck Big Big John up there and, and sort of matched them up in a four four two situation, kept our wider midfielders high, and um, and tried to really get the three points. And, and thankfully, um, that proved proved the case. Yeah, and it looked from the sidelines it was a positive performance, not just in that last little bit where we scored the goal, but from the off. So do you think that the changes you made to the starting eleven kind of helped that being at, at home as well? Yeah, look, it was a totally different game to the game that we we encountered on, on Saturday. Totally different opposition. Um, and we went about our business in, in a much more aggressive, positive manner today. Uh, being at home, um, I felt that we could really get at them and take the game to Bradford, who are, let's not dress it up, a real top team. And I think they'll be there or thereabouts this year with the, the funding that they've invested and the squad that they've put together. Um, but it was important that we didn't sit back. We actually got after them um, and took the game to them. And, you know, I thought we did that for the majority of the game. Um, you know, our quality in the final third really pleased me. Um, you know, the, the crosses into the box, uh, the cutbacks, the stand-ups, um, the chances that we created in the final third was was intelligent tonight. There was a little bit more thought in the final pass going into the box, and it was a pass. The cutbacks are a pass um, instead of just flashing balls across and hoping someone gets on the end of it. First half, we probably edged and and also had the very best chance of the, the half with Frank Newblake hitting the bar. 
Yeah, he hits the bar, and again, it was a, a great uh, ball into the box, made Frank favourite for for the challenge at the back stick, um, and he was unlucky for it not to not to not to go in. It was actual real good save. Uh, I think the keeper tipped it onto the, the the bar. So again, that was that was one of many. I mean, we had a couple of opportunities off counter attacks where we was aggressive in the middle of the park, front foot, and we nicked the ball. And it was just that final ball really that sort of let us down to put to put them in, but. We are good at that. We've been good at that since I've been in, um, trying to get people to play inside and then then obviously counter off that. But also tonight, when teams are set, I feel that we, we force it sometimes. And and the, the, the stuff that we put into them yesterday is the, the recognition of when teams are set. Let's be patient. Let's have two or three passes. Let's transfer the play. Let's get down the sides of them if they are set and we can't go through them. And I thought that, that paid dividends here as well tonight. And when you speak to them afterwards and when you speak to us, it must make a massive difference because it was really positive performance. If it stays nil nil, we're talking about a really positive performance, but not quite getting over the line. It must make a massive difference to get that goal and get those three points for the first time this season. Well, it does, and you know, you look at the second half performance against Carlisle it was very positive. And we couldn't find a way of, of getting that goal as much as we tried. We couldn't find a way. You look at the second half performance against Northampton away. You know, very good performance, created opportunity to score goals, and couldn't find a way. It, it's always nice when those fine margins go for you. Um, it was a close game tonight, but I felt that we deserved the three points with the opportunities that we created, and we kept going. You know, we, we didn't settle for for the for the nil nil at home to Bradford. We we tried to get the winner. Thankfully, it did happen tonight. Um, but as I said to you on Saturday, the highs and lows in football. Um, the, you know, it's it, it's brilliant when it goes for you, and it, it's obviously disappointing. Um, when you when you lose by the old goal that we can, but you know you need to keep your your highs and lows constant, and and we go again. And it's important now that we we back that performance up with a, another real positive performance on Saturday. Yeah, and positive performances all across the pitch. But people like Alamin Kazim and Marley Marshall Miranda, a young players at the very very start of their careers, show great character and also maturity in their performances tonight. Yeah, I mean, lots of questions have been asked of those two individuals. Um, the trust that we've put into those individuals is is massive. Um, you know, Clamps was fit tonight, um, and there was other central midfielders fit tonight. Um, but you know, they've done well. They've done well when questions have been asked of them in the games that they've played in so far. Um, they've stood up to the challenge, and they didn't let us down again tonight. You know, Marley was exceptional in the middle of the park. You know, aggressive, puts his foot in, no fear. Um, everything that you would want from your your sort of central midfielder. I thought we screened the two centre forwards well, and then come out of out of his holes at times and, and put his foot in with some real strong challenges. Um, and Alamin, um, you know, up and down, he, he got forward a lot more than what he has done in previous um, performances. But it was on to do so tonight. Um, his defending was exceptional, blocking crosses, um, and then at the end, obviously, it shows you a lot about the individual that he's willing to be brave and put his body on the line and, and make sure that we, we get the three points at the end with a fantastic block. Yeah, and you can see his fellow defenders celebrating with him almost like it was a goal. It was as important as a goal at the end. Yeah, and listen, when when you're a defender, sometimes you don't get the credit for those big moments. Like Sam pulls off a fantastic save at a back stick. Does he get enough credit for that? Probably not. You know, that's his job. That's Alamin's job. Um, it's always the lads up top that get... The biggest amount of money and and, and all the plaudits um, and rightly so. But today, obviously, Tom Eastman scores the goal. Um, brilliant for him on his 400th appearance for the football club. Fantastic achievement. Um, great loyalty from the big man. And what a way to top it off with uh, with a goal. Obviously, very pleased to get off and running with our first three points of the season. Now let's hear from the goal scorer making his 400th league appearance and 450th total appearances for the club, Tom Eastman. Tom, what a fantastic way to finish the game. Yeah, really, really happy. Last minute goal, clean sheet, three points, unbelievable night. Yeah. And the fact that it was your 400th league game and your 450th total appearance for the club, you, you couldn't have wished for a better script, could you? Yes. Written in the star room, isn't it? And it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's great for me on a personal level to get that many games, so many appearances for, for culture stuff. See a local team, really love playing here. 
and to go and get the winner in, in the last minute, you know, four hundred fiftieth game, four hundred league game, it's yeah, an unbelievable feeling. And to be fair, one of the boys I think we deserve it tonight. But a great performance, solid at back. I think Sam made a couple of good saves. To be fair to him, when when he needed to, but on a whole, great performance and deserved three points. Yeah. So you, you scored a goal. You think you've won it then. Seven, eight minutes already of injury time. <laughs> It was a bit nervy at the end there, wasn't yeah, it? Real the nervy. Post, yeah, real It was one of them days where, you know, on other days that might have hit the post and snuck in, but, you know, it's hit the post, come out, and Adam put in an unbelievable block, you know, to save the, save the three points. And fair play to him, it's been unbelievable the last three games he's come in. Yeah, and in, in that last 10 or 15 minutes, it looked like we almost made a conscious decision that, no, we're not going to sit on anything, we're going to be positive, we're going to go at them. We certainly did. We created more than just your chance. We, yeah, we put them under pressure. I think, I think we had a good chance. I think there was a few other chances. And I think that, you know, just that summed up our display today. I think on a whole, we started well. We, you know, got the ball down and passed it better than we have done the last, last few appearances in the league. And and that, you know, it's a great uh, great foot in sort of the game. And, you know, we had a few few chances, but it's luckily that it's not one at the end and uh, got the three points. And players are pretty confident people generally. Yeah. Does it start to play on your mind that you want that first win of the season out of the way as quickly as you can? Yeah, a little bit. I, to be honest, I think it's more about the performances we've, we've you know, focused yeah. on, and especially the, the stop ball performance, of always really poor performance from us. And, you know, fair to the manager and just fair to the, the boys. We, we worked on that yesterday, brought into the game today, and it seemed to work. So. Yeah. And that shows how much you're, you're taking in what information you're given, because... You've literally probably only had yesterday's training session since Saturday to, to make those changes. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, it's a Monday session for a game, so it's it a light one. You know, was, but all the boys took on what the instructions that what we all needed to do, and I think we showed a bit of uh, you know a bit of character. I've got got the ball down well, and you know, but actually passed it well. And I think you know, it's, it's sometimes it's the easy way just to sit back and clear the ball. And, you know, but the boys showed a bit of character today and uh, performed really well. Yeah, and obviously we're in a spell of games now. They're coming thick and fast. Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. In case of putting your feet up now and until we're training again on Thursday. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Obviously, it's nice to, nice to have the home games coming up, and you know, especially after today and the draw, the draw last last time here. You know, it's a it's a good uh, good start for the, the home form. Brilliant, thank you. Proud evening for Tom, capped off by scoring the winning goal. Plus a mention for Alamin Kazim, one for encouraging Tom to go up for the free kick in the first place and for that brilliant last minute block. Three points, thank you very much. And by the way, Noah's free kick being absolutely on the button. How a game can change so quickly and so much happen within a minute. That's football and that's why we love it. Just before I go, a quick reminder that tickets are on sale for the Leighton Orient game this Saturday, plus the cup game against Premier League opposition Brentford next Tuesday. Go to coluticketscom If you do want to contact us here on the TV show or something for the programme or for the big screen on match days, it's media at colchesterunited.net. I'll be back on Saturday for the pre-match show ahead of the Leighton Orient game. Until then, have a fantastic week, whatever you're up to, and it's goodbye for now.